All right, everyone, welcome back to the Commission Gamer YouTube channel and NASCAR 21 Ignition, the game of which the people that made it will not be in business for much longer. So, yeah, that game. But anyways, we're here, and we're going to be trying to see if the Ross Chastain line or the Hail Millen will work on the final turn at Phoenix. Obviously, we didn't get to see if it possibly could happen, and uh, I think on uh, the TV they well documented the reason why it couldn't really happen. But let's give it a try here. As you get back into the right standard Moa Company car here. Get a good look at it here. Running the 43 colors, already got damage on it, of course. This car has absolutely terrible handling. A beautiful car there. So there's our turn. Now what I didn't pay attention to because I was looking at my beautiful beautiful race car and the terrible camera angles that are available in this game. Uh, I didn't really s take a look at the turn. So let's get over here and we're going to try it out. So we're checking out uh, last gen. Good night. The car will not turn. We're checking out the last gen NASCAR. And then we're going to try out uh, the correct next gen so we can kind of see from here yeah that's pretty difficult and you have a really long way to be able to go to really be able to use it that's what I'm seeing right there so and the car is just handling very finicky though All right, so there we go we got uh, the one car so Let's see if we can get a good gauge on what we need to do here. So we kind of want to enter right about here. Yeah, very little bonus, if any. And there we go. We are flipping at Phoenix. Yeah, there's a reason why this game is... Uh, Worthless. All right, so here we go. We actually, oh, we actually have Ross Chastain in the race here, so maybe he can show us how to do it. And that's the other problem. So your car gets checked up right at the start line, while the AI are able to continue to race like uh, nuts. That's just that. We're getting spun out here by the double zero, and we're gonna collect him back. So there you go, buddy. Yeah, flip over at Phoenix. Ha 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 ha. Uh, yeah. Excuse me, I gotta get around here somehow. There we go. But yeah, you see the car turning by itself here? That's pretty crazy, so let's see. That's still one of the main issues why this game is just so bad, is just the self-steering car syndrome. That's a super problem. So we need to get up to speed so we can even try this turn thing in an actual race. But as I said, I don't think it's going to work, at least for this car anyways. So let's see. We're going to get ourselves up to speed here. Now watch the car. Yeah, yeah, so. Ah, yep, so. The car just has absolutely awful handling. I don't think we can do it with this car, that's for sure. Because this car is just not working out for us very well. Eh, yeah. Yeah, this is not going to work for this car. Well, we'll try it with the next gen. Alright, so we're going to see what we can do after that absolutely horrible... Oh, good night. Horrible experience with the, the last generation ass car in this game. So we didn't really get up to really good speed there, so I kind of want to test it out. Man, the car is loose! It's like, there is like, like with F1 2020, obviously a much older game, but honestly I love it. I love the game. It's a great game. And even NASCAR Heat 5, you can get just so much force feedback with the controller. This, you can't get anything. Okay, so actually looking at this, look at the speed difference here. That actually might be a worthwhile attempt there for the cup race. Just looking at this particular car. Obviously, the other one just was not working here. Ah, hit the wall. 
something we can do here. But yeah, the, the, what's interesting is that this car is predominantly turning to the left. The other car was constantly like trying to turn to the right on the straight. So there's, just, I don't know what's wrong with the steering, but something's something seriously messed up there. All right, not the greatest qualifying run, but uh, that's uh, about normal for me. So, plus also I was ready at the wall, so that might have slowed us down. Alrighty, so now we're in race mode. Let's see what we can do here. Everybody checks up. The AI gets a super run there on the side. I do love the graphics, though. I mean, that is one thing that you cannot say that this game did bad was the graphics. I think the problem was that they probably focused too much on the graphics, but still. And we took out the Mahindra car. No! I love that Mahindra car. That Mahindra car is awesome. Hello, sir. Yep, that's a beautiful paint scheme. I really like how Mahindra has gotten into the sport, too, with their partnership with Tony and Briscoe, just the way they did. I think that was really cool. So, obviously, we got a pretty easy run here. I'm going to kind of hang back here for a second. There we go. Let him get that run. And let's see what we can do riding the wall here. So a little bit slower, didn't have as much momentum into the turn, didn't really get us much. We stayed about even though. So we're just testing to see if it's possible to like gain a position with that move here. Yeah, you see that the AI just checked up so much in that turn. So I just I just let off the throttle this, so let's see what we can do here. Easing into the wall here and Yeah, there isn't much gain you're gonna get with the AI trying to run the wall. So Hail Menon won't necessarily work. Now let's try Ooh. Oh Well hey, if you want a little bit of an even through what is that? Because you know, see that, that? Yeah, I'm confused. Honestly, is this turn three or is it turn four? I get confused by this. But there is definitely a uh, benefit from hitting whatever these turns are down here. So I'm not sure if these are turns one and two. Okay, hit the wall a little bit too hard there. That kind of maybe go up into the wall. Yeah, those are turns one and two. I get that confused. But anyways, turns one and two there, there's definitely a benefit from running those. Not sure. Why is that going off? Alright, so we'll try this entry here again. But yeah, there's a pretty decent if you just want to do that and not have to fight on the bottom, there's actually a fairly decent uh, decent improvement you can get. Definitely not much of one here, as we almost get the uh, 77 there, but yeah, it turns 1 and 2. Looks like it would actually work. So we're going to restart this. I want to try this one more time and see what we can do here. Just because I was trying to... I fig didn't figure that out until a little bit later. So, I forgot to try that earlier. So, let's try this again here. Going to be focusing mainly on turns 1 and 2 as the benefit spot. Did we randomize the cars? Looks like the cars got randomized. Yeah, that's just... The way that it, it starts you on track is just awful with you not having... Throttle, ah, we're getting spun right into the wall. Thank you very much to AI that are absolutely idiotic. That's another reason why people don't like this game. Because the AI have no sense of your existence. Until you wreck them. Then they have a pretty good idea that you exist. Other than that, yeah, these AI are just awful. No likey. Alright, so let's try turns one and two here. Terrible entry. Gotta get that polished up, but I mean, you see, I mean, we can 
gain a little bit of time through the middle of the turn on Havik there, because we gained just a little bit, so we gotta kinda catch back up to him. Yeah, that'll really slow down and let somebody else catch up to us. There we go. But yeah, we gotta kinda get way up here next to the wall. Into. No, that was a much smoother entry. But yeah, I mean, look at that. We get a fairly decent amount of uh, control there. So, I mean, if you having problems with your car in that turn, that's definitely a, a bit of a benefit. I really do hate the, the feedback on this uh, game, though, because, I mean, it just feels like there's nothing underneath the tires. It just feels like absolutely nothing's there. It feels like air. Obviously, there is air between the tires and the uh, wheel, but still, it's just, it is an awful, awful feeling. It's just like you cannot feel what the car is doing. It's just very, very weird. We're trying to catch up to Havik here. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That's a fairly decent gain right there. Obviously, he's going to get a little bit better acceleration. But, I mean, if you're running a long, long race without uh, serious damage, like tires going flat and all that, I mean, you could possibly, with getting turns three and four uh, perfected, I mean, you could probably really make up some ground here. So, let's try this again. Just going to totally send it. I mean, look at that. I mean... Oh wow, yeah, we're making some pretty good ground up here. So Ziegler, the Ziegler car here is going to get... Ah, we're going to get spun out by the... Unsentient being AI that exists in this game. Actually, all AI are technically unsentient, but anyways. Never mind about that. But, uh, I mean, it can work. Ooh, nice, perfect, perfect slide there. But it will work, but I think it's going to be more of a lap after lap benefit than a single lap benefit is what I'm kind of seeing here so will the hail Menon work at Phoenix yes will it work where you want it to work no you got to do turns one and two to really get that benefit and it's going to be a lap after lap process of really getting that to work for you in the end so that's uh, that's my verdict that's what I'm seeing and observing let me know what you guys have seen with the hail Menon move at Phoenix and we'll see you guys here next time. Now I gotta get myself a thumbnail. Make sure to like and subscribe, and we will be back next time. Bye bye.